Been to see the vampires, so I'm good to take it. Uh, ready for my HbA1c. Doctor's appointment isn't for another couple of weeks, but we shall see how it is. As predicted, my HbA1c had gone up. I knew that anyway. I told you this in last week's video, and I got told off. All the usual warning signs were there anyway, so it wasn't a big surprise to me, but I peaked and got my blood test results a bit early anyway, so I knew what was coming. I'd already started to make changes to bring it down, so I'm a little bit ahead for, for getting there for the next three months. It's easy when you're told that your blood sugars aren't where they need to be to just kind of spit your dummy out and go in a bit of a hissy fit and just think, oh, whatever, then what's the point of even trying? My blood's have gone up anyway, I've tried really hard, forget it, I might as well just go back to eating Mars bars on toast. <laughs> Don't actually eat Mars bars and toast, I can't imagine that'd be very nice. But you get the idea, when you try really hard and it doesn't pay off, then you just think, what's the point? And you just throw caution to the wind and do whatever the hell you want to do. The hard part is just getting back on the horse and trying even harder and trying again. And my camera's not very steady this week. Oh no. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pull myself up, keep going, try even harder, be strong. As well as my HbA1c going up though, as I said, that wasn't a surprise, but there are a few things that were a surprise. I've gained weight. I've become a fat middle-aged man with my middle age spread. That was a bit disappointing, but I've always been on the on the low end of normal on my beating line, so I'm kind of just in the middle range now, so even though I've put weight on, it's not the be all and end all, because I'm still a healthy weight, I'm still a good weight, but my blood pressure's gone up, my cholesterol gone up, sucks and sucks. I always pride myself on kind of being healthy and healthier than the average person, so we're told I've got like problems and my blood pressure's gone up, and my, I've got high cholesterol. High cholesterol, I'm 30, that's all that about. So now I've got some work to do to try and bring it down. First thing is, I got a new toy. It's not actually mine, but it's mine till Friday. So it's something to play with. It's a... Uh, blood pressure machine. I, I wish I knew the proper name for that, actually. What is the name of the machine that measures blood pressure? Spigmo manometer. According to Wikipedia, Spigmo Big Mo Mamometer, that's fun to say. So I've got a Big Mo Mamometer to play with for the next week. Got to measure my blood pressure like in the morning, of an evening. But well, I've got to do it twice each time because it's not very. I'll literally I'll check it and it'll come down like two seconds later. So it's not like the most accurate thing in the world, but that's what the nurse wants me to do. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm also going to try and bring it down. We're looking at different tips, different ways to bring it down. Apparently, when your blood pressure comes down, cholesterol will come down. But I also need to cut back on the bacon. I like bacon, and pizza, and fast food, fry ups. <laughs> Man, these are my favourite things. Hey ho, I do like charts, and graphs, and different things, so I'm doing this, filling this out. See, so there's all my blood pressure readings, which just looks like gibberish. I didn't understand blood pressure. I don't know what high blood pressure is and what low pressure blood pressure is. So, I did a little bit of research, it should be, the top number, whatever that's called, between 120 and 140, and the bottom number between 80 and 90. I've been kind of getting like 139 over 89, or like 142 over 92. So it's not massively high, it's slightly high. So the idea is just getting them ahead of it before the game. We have enough complications as diabetics, so just try and keep down to a minimum, try and get my blood pressure back down. What's really annoying though, here's me, 30 year old man in my prime. Like, oh, like, oh, I've got high blood pressure, I'm an old man. The girlfriend has low blood pressure. That's just kind of just a slap in the face, right? Do you know how she treats her low blood pressure? Every now and then when it gets low and she gets a bit lightheaded. Chocolate. Eating chocolate, drinking hot chocolate. These are the things that help her out. I feel like her mere existence, although she's such a pleasure and a joy, Hemi in existence is just sent to torture me. So I'm there with high blood sugar. Oh, can't have any treats. High blood pressure. Ah, oh, no bacon. And she's there like, ah, oh, my blood pressure's low. I need a hot chocolate. Can you make me a hot chocolate, please? I'm like, okay. What else? Uh, I love you, girl. So anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna let you know if actually, I'm gonna exercise and drink green tea. And I'm gonna eat more fruit and veg and I'm gonna do other things along the way. I'm gonna get low blood pressure and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna go back and throw this in the nurse's face like, Ugh! I won't, because it'll hurt. And she's actually nice and she's just doing a job. Despite the fact she's mean to me and she pulled his face. And she's seen my feet. But my feet are so much better than they were. Like, they're, they're getting better every day. Uh, I do like horrible, falling apart, cracked, 
scratchy things. But now they're not too bad, they're just dry. But I told her by the time we go back on Friday, it'll be fine. She won't even know. I got my Fletcher's Hall cream, my cod liver tablets. I got this. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday and I'll update you and let you know what blood pressure is and what the nurse says on Friday. I may come back with some tips as well. If it works, I will let you know how to lower your blood pressure. Over and out. Love. Peace. Bye.